Hello everyone and welcome to the Gentech PC exclusive first look at the brand new MSI GT60 and GT70 series. These are the newest top of the line models from MSI and you have a choice between a 15 inch and a 17 inch form factor. All of the features you come to know and love of the MSI GT series have been retained such as the Steel Series LED backlit keyboard and the Dyn Audio speaker system. And now these features have been combined with the latest offerings from NVIDIA and Intel, featuring the third generation Intel Core i7 processor and the NVIDIA GTX 670 mobile with 3GB of onboard video RAM. In addition to that, you're going to see the introduction of the high performance Bigfoot Killer Gaming Local Area Network card designed specifically for gamers. And all of these features only touch the surface of what's packed under the hood of the new MSI GT series. So let's start to take a tour of the actual physical layout of the laptop. Starting over here on the upper right hand part of the keyboard, you'll be able to notice the illumination that comes through from the LED backlighting. The grille that allows the speaker sound to come through because there's two speakers in the front. The quick access keys and your notification LEDs. Both the GT60 and the GT70 feature the anti-glare display type, making it ideal for use in any kind of environment because you do not have to worry about reflections from any lighting or the angle that you look at the screen. Aesthetically speaking on the outside, the GT60 and the GT70 are very identical. One of the few things you can spot a difference on is the actual speaker grills for the front facing speakers. The GT70 has the silver ones with the honeycomb pattern while the GT60 had the black grill covering. But they both do feature the same high quality Dyn Audio speaker systems. And honestly, of all the laptop systems we've heard in our day, these are still the best of any. Now taking a look at the device manager inside the operating system, we can take a look at some of the hardware. You will notice under the display adapters that you actually have two items here. The dedicated GPU provided by NVIDIA, but in addition to that you have the integrated graphics which is provided by the third generation Intel CPU. Having this low power secondary graphics option greatly extends your battery life by not utilizing the dedicated NVIDIA GPU when it's not necessary. For all of your normal day to day tasks, the integrated graphics is more than sufficient. Watching YouTube videos, browsing the internet, and even light gaming can be handled by the integrated graphics. The CPU featured here is the Core i7 3610 Quad Mobile featuring the Ivy Bridge architecture and the 22 nanometer fabrication process. It runs at 2.3 gigahertz at normal frequency and then goes all the way up to 3.3 gigahertz when turbo boost is enabled. That is some very serious CPU power that can easily compete even against most full-size desktop systems. And what good would a gaming laptop be if it only had a powerful CPU and not a GPU to match? And that's where the dedicated NVIDIA G4 670 mobile comes in featuring the newest 600 series architecture and coming with a full 3 gigabytes of onboard video RAM, it's more than ready to take on pretty much any gaming task you can throw at it. And now we're going to be taking a look at a feature exclusive to the GT70. The larger 17 inch form factor of the laptop allowed them the space to fit in something called Super RAID, where they have two 64 gigabyte SSDs in a RAID 0 array, in addition to a third primary hard drive. So you have two SSDs for maximum speed, and then you have the larger storage drive for all your games and media files. All of these drives, half the system RAM, and the CPU and GPU are all made easily accessible right underneath of the bottom backplate. Also here out of sight underneath of the laptop is the third speaker. This is where you find the dedicated subwoofer that's responsible for a lot of the great sound you get out of the speaker system. So you remember that Super Raid feature we were talking about a minute ago? Well here is where you get to set that up. Right inside of the system BIOS you'll find the Raid feature. This is handled at the hardware level, which is the most ideal type of RAID system to use. So the system actually features a full three hard disk here, but the two SSDs are in the RAID 0 strip setup, while the third drive is left as an independent drive. SSD drives are already more than fast enough on their own, but if you're the type of person that'd like to have ultimate bragging rights, having two of these together in a RAID 0 array will definitely help you accomplish that. The raw performance scores of our synthetic speed test show that we get a minimum transfer rate of 795 megabits per second with an average of over 920 megabits per second and an access time of only 0.2 milliseconds. If you want to have an idea of exactly how fast this is, go run the HD2 utility on your own computer and then come back and compare. Then you'll understand that this is truly ludicrous speed. And now let's take a quick look at one of the new features on the GT1670. They've implemented the Bigfoot Killer Gigabit Ethernet card. There has been a lot of buzz on the internet about the killer networking cards, and actual testing done to show that it can decrease your in-game latency and ping, therefore giving you a distinct advantage during online gaming. Whether or not these claims actually amount to any noticeable difference that you can pick up in-game, at least you can feel secure knowing that your machine is equipped with the most high-end and advanced networking card on the market.
So in closing, we'll just take a quick bird's eye view of the GT60 and the GT70 side by side. Again, aesthetically speaking, they're pretty much identical externally. The biggest difference is going to be in the form factor. You'll have to decide for yourself whether the smaller 15 inch form factor suits you better for portability reasons or whether you prefer the larger 17 inch form factor for the larger screen size. To reiterate the common features between the two, they both have the aluminum palm rest, the Steel Series color changing LED backlit keyboard, the high end Dyn Audio speaker system, the third generation Intel quad mobile CPU with integrated graphics and the NVIDIA GTX 670 mobile with 3 gigabytes of onboard video RAM. In addition to that, they both also feature a full 1920 by 1080 p high definition matte type display and a 720p high definition webcam. In a stock configuration, the 17 inch model does have a few options that the 15 inch model does not. However, on the Gentech website, you can fully customize your order, so if you choose to, you can upgrade any of the individual components to meet or exceed the 17 inch stock configuration. We hope that you enjoyed the video. We are very excited to have the GT60 and GT70 available for order now. If you'd like more information, just go to gentechpc.com. There you can find all the full product specifications and current prices. If you have any questions, our customer support team would be more than happy to help you out through phone or email. So once again, this was Gentech PC, and we'll see you guys next time.